guys, in today's video we're going to look at what are esters, how we can name our esters, the process of esterification, hydrolysis, looking at acidic and alkaline hydrolysis, and finally, an exam style question. So what are esters? Well, esters have this general formula that you can see here. They are carboxylic acid derivatives. They're derived from carboxylic acid, so we're going to use carboxylic acids to make them. You can see they have a very similar structure of carboxylic acid, except the H in the OH group has been replaced by another group. So how do we name our esters? Well, I think it's quite easy to imagine you're dividing your ester into two parts. This R group that's replaced the hydrogen in the OH group is the first part of the name and this comes from the alcohol that we use to form them. The second part is everything else and that comes from the acid that we use to form them. So if you have a look at this example here, you can see that the R group is a methyl group, whereas the part from the acid was from ethanoic acid, so it's ethanoate. So we have methyl ethanoate. If we have a look at another example, you can see our R group over here is still a methyl group. However, the acid that was used was propanoic acid. It has one, two, three carbons. So we have methyl propanoate. I find it really useful to draw this temporary dividing line in here whenever I'm naming my esters. It really does help me. So let's have a look at how we make our esters. Well, esters are made in the process of esterification. There are two ways we're going to look at and how to make esters. The first is reacting a carboxylic acid with an alcohol, and the second is an acid anhydride with an alcohol. So let's have a look at that first method. The reagents we're going to use are a carboxylic acid and an alcohol, and we'll use an H2SO4 catalyst. So you can see here, I've used the general formulas. We're reacting a carboxylic acid with an alcohol to form our ester and to form water. You can see it's a reversible reaction, it's quite a slow reaction. Now as our ester is volatile, it can be distilled off, and that's how we obtain it. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level chemistry videos, click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.